do you have any tenants that are sort of camped out in your place without paying rent? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going into carnage. Yes. We as a small landlord, we are suffering from this situation. God, Jesus. What about us? She hasn't paid since 2019. But however, she has luxury and designer items. Louis Vuitton. Balenciaga. Housing court in New York City is the worst. It's a sense of fairness, you know? Just be fair at the end of the day. They would rather see a small landlord lose their home. People come in with like kittens and they leave like lions. What do you guys have to say to the government or whoever's creating these policies? What do you want to say? So here out in Queens, we're gonna meet a woman named Nadine. How you doing? How are you? Doing well. I really have no idea what I'm getting into. I so but that's we. what makes it fun. So so do I. <laughs> Hi Peter, how are you? Nadine. Nice to nice meet you. To meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for meeting Thank up. What's the story? What's going on here? We're basically talking about the moratorium and how it impacted um, minority of small landlords. Okay. So we have here a small landlord, and he's actually also my dad. Oh, there we go, there <laughs> yeah. we go. I learned about a lot about real estate from my dad. He's been in real estate for over, as long as I can, I was alive. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, uh, small landlords are impacted right. negatively. Yep. And it's unfortunate because this was created so that everyone can benefit, whether it be a landlord or whether it be a tenant who fell on hard times. Yeah. Um, but you have tenants who wanted to exploit the system in New York, I don't know if you're familiar with landlord tenant. Well, I've been learning today. This is something I was completely unfamiliar with. Right. Um, but I'm learning as right. I go. In this neighborhood, you have Jackie Robinson, whose house is right over here. Ella Fitzgerald. This is Jackie Robinson. Yes. Yep. Okay. Former home, I should say. Ella Fitzgerald, Lena Horn, Babe Ruth, Fats Waller, Count Basie, Brooke Benton, W.E.B. Dubois. All in this neighborhood? All in this neighborhood. And wow. this neighborhood is called Addisley Park. It's a nice neighborhood. In Queens. Mm. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? You're a landlord too. Yes, sir. How, how, are, how are things going for you currently? It's a, it's a going concern, you know. It's a work in progress, you know. Um, uh, Come on over. Just, what's, your, what's your name? Oh, my name is Robert. Robert. Yes. Nice my to meet husband. you. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, it's, it's your husband. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. So tell us, uh, well, you have the same story then, or a similar story, right? Yes, well, that's his property, yeah. not my property. I guess the, the point of this video, there's a situation going on in New York where, you know, there's a, a moratorium happening. It keeps getting pushed. The final date keeps getting pushed. Now is August 31st. And what's getting overlooked is the smaller landlords that aren't getting any help because you guys, from my understanding, have to pay your mortgages. You have to pay tax to the government. And the tenant, depending on their circumstance, some are telling the truth, right? And some aren't. Do you have any tenants that are sort of camped out in your place without paying rent or? Actually, he does. <laughs> <This is> okay. <laughs> okay. He's kind of being modest about it. So unfortunately, you, don't, you can't distinguish and, and tell who, uh, Who's, still, who's working, who's not. Some people work okay. from home. Okay. So just because they're home, that doesn't mean that they don't have an income coming in. And yep. uh, landlords, especially, particularly small landlords, they, uh, they, they still need to pay their bills. Mm -hmm. And tenants are utilizing this moratorium, many people, not just, you know, many more than, I, I can't give you percentage wise, but many people are using this moratorium as a way to save. To, to be fair, and I don't know, what you guys know but to be fair some people are struggling they their absolutely. work has stopped by no fault of their own absolutely and they need the help right absolutely absolutely but this video is more about what you're talking about right which is, right which there is, are people you can't tell if they're working or not and let me ask you this with the government are they asking for much proof or how do they know if someone's working that's or not? that's what it is there is no there are no processes in place to say okay. how to distinguish who's working and who's not working and who has an income who do, who does it so even though someone's not working people mm -hmm. still received unemployment mm -hmm. they received uh, ppp eidl right and did not pay rent mm. so yes some landlords got an opportunity to 
uh, like a, a mortgage forbearance, but that's okay. going to go on the back end of their mortgage. It's not like it just goes away. So what, what I can't understand is I understand that, look, people are always going to abuse the system. That's just the nature of humans, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, but what I can't understand is how uh, the banks don't have to be left out to dry because you still have to pay your mortgages. Right. Right? Yeah. They still have to be the mortgages. The government who's creating these policies still gets their tax revenue. That's right. You stop Absolutely. paying your tax revenue, you lose your home, right? Exactly. Right. So and and pay late fee and penalty right. on top of that. Right. That's not an addition. Okay. Yeah. So what do you guys have to say? To, what What do you want to say? What do you want to tell the government or whoever's creating these policies? What do you want to say? Look out to a small landlords because we as a small landlord we are suffering from this situation because they're really looking out for the tenants. What about the small landlords? I think the overall mentality might be, oh, you have properties, you're rich. But then, uh, but the bills. I'm not got, saying this. No, 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 no. I'm just, no, 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 yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just re re replying to the government. At the same token, we have bills to pay. Yeah. How a landlord would survive in a situation like this where a tenant refused to pay? I'm using the word that strongly, refused to pay, because you may have some tenants that willing to pay, but because of the law says to them that we don't have to pay right now but what about us yeah it creates an unnecessary burden you know what about us that's why we all turning gray and this is like, <laughs> yes. that's why we all turning gray like my my dad said the government doesn't care about because they think of all landlords equally yeah and all landlords are not equal you have landlords who own huge high-rise commercial spaces and even though this pandemic is occurring mm -hmm. they still can survive whereas they're like big in institutional investors involved right, institutional and investors, they have more of a buffer exactly yeah you know they they, they can and they know how to i, I don't want to use that word but they, they know how to <laughs> maneuver yes yeah. i was i was going to use another word but maneuver um whereas again the small landlords housing court in new york city is the worst. The court system in New York City is always going to be in favor of the tenant. Okay. Because they don't want tenants to become homeless because we have a huge homeless population. Right. Yeah. And that is creating more homelessness. And they would they would rather see a small landlord, and I'm gonna say it, yep, lose their home yep. than to put a family into the shelter system. It makes them look bad if there are more people on the streets. In the streets uh, I, I, and in the system, because it's more, it, it costs more for the city to house. Instead a of in, instead of addressing the real problem, they just want to put a bandaid on it. Exactly. Which, which hurts people like you guys. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. What this moratorium did was reveal what many people already knew. Oh, interesting. So I felt that with COVID, I think most people did. COVID put a spotlight on whatever was there. Right. Like a 10X factor. Exactly. So it was already there. Exactly. Okay, exactly. okay. Exactly. But it's just 10 times worse. Exactly. We're going to see a situation. We're going to yeah. see a situation. Like get into a home, just tenants. Yes. Just to get an idea. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Not the tenant per se, but just the way you could tell the mentality of what they do. Yeah. Okay. And how, you know. It's a mentality. It's a mentality. More than anything, right? Yes, that's what it is. But entitlement mentality, right? Uh, that's a big reality. word. That entitlement. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's a big one. Because so. That, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No. 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 That, okay. That's usually what. Why people act the way they do with this entitlement. And in that per, that mentality is getting incentivized right now. So then it only makes more of that mentality, right? We're gonna mama though. Yes. So where are yes. we going? We are going to to see a house that is own. What is it? Work at home. Yeah. Why? What are you changing? I'm gonna get another house. Oh my gosh. He's out. <laughs> Teenagers are easy, right? Oh my gosh. Take care. You okay with me and in the vlog? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to um, to see a house. How tenant destroyed the okay. property. So we're going into carnage. Yes. Are you going back home? Yes. Okay, good. Are you coming? Yeah. Okay. She's holding the home hostage. Uh, we gave her notice that she has to vacate, vacate the premises within 30 days. What the lease was up? The lease has been up. Okay. The lease has been up for over a year. 
How, when's the last a, time she paid? It was a month to month. She hasn't paid since 2019. Oof. Quite a nice neighborhood over here in Queens. Beautiful pockets of well-kept homes, parks, uh, cool small mom and pop businesses. So you're selling this one? I guess. You gotta do a little work first, a little work. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You got me, you got me excited. <laughs> not, not, not for what you have to deal with, right. but to see what carnage is. Right. Someone in there? No. Maybe she moved the table to lock the door to limit the access. Is electricity on? Yes. God, Jesus. Ooh, it's a nice stench in here. I'm scared to see what's gonna pop up. This is unbelievable. I wish you saw what the place looked like prior to. How long were they here? Uh, two years. This is definitely a mouth breathing environment. Jeez, so you gotta deal with this disaster. Here, there's a check down here. 1400 bucks, but it says this is not a check. <laughs> And she was complaining about rodents. We were like, we, we, there was never any rodents in here. Then we tried to, then we came I think here. She, we, I think she brought them in. That's, 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 that's probably there's, what there's, made <laughs> There's rodents. Well, go figure. you got trash on the floor. What do you expect? <laughs> Just in case you need this message to get you through. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. At the end of the day, you know, you just gotta make right. the best out of the situation. Uh, okay. So they didn't pay rent for how long? They didn't pay rent for over uh, 15, 15 months. 16 months. So there's nothing you guys can do. Unfortunately. This is basically, you know, what I have to deal with. And obviously the, the, pan, the pandemic and the moratorium gave it, her even a bigger permission to yeah. just not worry about paying. Not worrying about paying. Still holding the place hostage. You know? It is what it is, unfortunately. Oh, I feel like something's gonna bite me. Same here. I, I'm just creeped out. This, what, what, did, what happened here? Oh, yeah, I mean, how key is it? Was this a, by design or is she actually lived? She lived like this. She lived like this. She had to live like this. Jesus There's no Christ. way. Christ. There's no way you did this from just moving things. But however, notice that she has luxury and designer items. She has an iPad right here. So why why'd she just leave it? No Who knows? idea. Who knows? No idea. It's that mentality, you know. This is the entire you know situation that you know we discussed previously, and I'd know, rather I buy care. luxury brands as opposed to paying my rent. Save, you know, save your money and eventually maybe even get your own place. But not it's, it's the lifestyle, you know. I mean, you know, the government, you know, make at least an attempt to try to like you know remedy the situation, but evidently, you know, there's no help from that end. So this is the end result. Louis Vuitton, some Uggs. Yeah. What do we Bur got? Burberry over here. Balenciaga. How do you know that brand? Is that a good one? <laughs> yeah, it is a good brand. It's a good brand. How much do you think those are? Oh gosh. I don't know. It could be about eight hundred. Yeah. Come on. No, seriously. She left eight hundred, or yeah, those aren't eight hundred. Those could, be, they could very well be eight hundred dollars. Very well, seven hundred dollars at yeah. the very least. Go to Neiman Marcus, you'll find them there. Uggs. Oh. Uggs are about three hundred dollars. Man. Uggs. So what's the, Burberry. I don't want to be the guy because you're dealing with this crap right now, but what's the lesson here? You really can't, you know, like, because you don't want to stereotype, but I mean. Vet better renters? Yeah, much better, yeah, better, you know, vetting, you know, at the end of the day and but, just know, pray for the best, hope for the best. The, the thing about it is with vetting is that people come in with like kittens and they leave like lions. So <laughs> that's one good way to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> she was working. She she had a job. She did have a like a Montclair jacket. 
Um, she she had it. She was working. She had a job. It. High end goods. Yeah. Just, I mean, you know, she can't pay your rent, but you know, it is. Good. She had a job. She was working. She had her children. Single parent. Looked like she was working really really hard to establish herself. And you give people a chance, and they, this is what they, they screw you over. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's the reality, you know. And so it in, it, in a perfect world, the government should be sticking up for you guys here. I mean. That's one way to look at it, but I mean, you know, it's just, it's, it's a sense of fairness, you know, just be fair at the end of the day. Yeah. Because, you know, you just give so much latitude to, you know, the tenant and then, you know, us here as landlords, you know, it's not like, you know, you're, I'm the average, you know, big guy, you know, on, on, on Wall Street or Main Street. You know, you're not, you're the, not buying those shoes, right? I, I wish I could. <laughs> I mean, those are some but, nice Nikes, yeah, but they're not the, uh, whatever the, what are those yeah, called? The Balenciagas? Yeah, the, 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 the Balenciagas. Balenciagas. Yeah, you know, it's like, come on now, like, I'm just trying to make, you know, ends meet at the end of the day, you know, so you really don't worry about things like that. All right, guys, well, that's a little uh, example. I've never seen anything like this, <laughs> yeah, to be honest. Example, right? uh, I've seen some trash places, but this is uh, next level. It's so creepy. It's like... Ooh. Oh, you didn't see this, jeez. The uh, the closet. All right. <laughs> you got good footage. An example. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for bringing us. Absolutely. Thank you for bringing us in. It's a world we're not going to get into unless there are people like you willing to open up doors. So thank yeah. you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. No, thank and you. you have a podcast, a very good podcast. <laughs> I do. Yes. I want to drop you. that below yes. in the link. The Se name of it? Secrets of the Cell. Secrets of the Cell. Yes. Nadine and is uh, obviously her father and you both, you're also yeah. real estate mavericks. So you have the insight. Just trying to navigate. <laughs> <laughs> trying to navigate. Yeah. You saw the, you saw the dark side of it yes. too. The smelly side. you learn side. from it. You know? So. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much. Bro, good to see you. Man. Good to see you too. How your mom? Yeah, she's good, man. She good? Yeah, All right. Good to see you. Take yeah. care. Yeah, take care, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. I just want to finalize on the fact that, look, I understand this video was very much landlord focused and I showed their journeys. And there are great landlords, there are terrible landlords, there are slumlords, there are great tenants. They're terrible tenants. I showed one side of the equation, but I really feel like this is the side that doesn't get shown so much. Most people, not most, but I think many people think, you know, landlords are just rolling in the money and, you know, kick back in life. And yeah, there are those people. There are plenty of them, but they're also good, hardworking people that have made a lot of sacrifice, that have saved up money, that have done everything right, that are getting penalized right now by the system. So, it was an honor for me to get into their lives and for them to show me what exactly is going on at the current moment here in New York City. Thanks for coming along. Until the next one.